This is a clown. <laughs> Tell him to get up. Get up, get up, get up. You guys do this all the time, man, for real. Will you vlog for me, lovey? And all he do is for you, like me. Up. You guys been spending like 45 minutes trying to wake me up. Like, trying to oh, wake you up. Man. You need to cut these claws. Oh, get out of here. I'm Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. Sing it with me, yes, Big High. His name is my name, too. Sing it with me, Brothers Wood. I'm leaving, Big Bitches. Love ya. John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. His name is my name, too. I can't have this filter built into my face. My favorite is the heart filter. I love that filter. <laughs> okay. So I just need to clarify that Martin and I did not break up. I have been getting some like messages because of the song that I put up, I guess, onto my story. It was Adele and Adele is like known for breakups and just being the open and just being like I guess, I don't want to say a sad artist, but to me she is, like her music is sad. So when you just feel like you need a good cry, she's like ideal to listen to. But, I, you know, I've just been, we've been going through something. Something has been happening in our lives, which I cannot speak on. And if you watch our last video, you know that I can't speak on it. And it's just been an emotional journey and I was feeling super sad, but today is gonna be a good day because we're leaving Arizona. So if you watched our last video, rest in peace, Cheeto Kanye, in there I, you know, very briefly mentioned that Martin and I and Mason, we've kind of just um, aborted, I guess I would say. No, oh, aborted, what the heck? I mean like, <laughs> that sounds terrible. Not like aborted, but like abort, you know, like abort, not aborted. Anyways, damn, you really gotta be careful how you say things. Something's been happening in our life that has been a part of our life that um, all was kind of really unexpected but became a part of our life. That was my reason for feeling sad yesterday and I posted up like an Adele song with like a broken heart. Martin came home and he's like, people are going to think we broke up, Suzette. Take that down. And I was like, nobody's going to think we broke up. Like they know better than that. No, yeah, this morning I woke up to like snaps of people like, oh my gosh, are you okay? I'm so sorry. Are you and Martin okay? And I was like, crap. I hate when Martin's right. But yeah, I had to clarify that on Snapchat. Me and Martin are good. Like, that's the thing. We're always good. We are. We're always good. We're always together. I think that's that's the really cool thing about our channel name, too. Like, our together. Like, no matter what is going on in our life, Martin and I are always good. Uh, Martin, Mason, and I are always together. We always take things on together, no matter what. reason for our lack of uploads, um, you know, might have been, well, because of this, you know? Um we've kind of been putting a lot of time and energy into this. And so it kind of took away from being able to upload, edit. But I did film a little bit here and there. We got my dad a new car and that was a huge surprise and we were super, super excited, which technically wasn't like a brand new car, but to him it was because he thought that his car was done for, um, gonna be taken to the junkyard. He didn't know he was getting his car back in brand new shape. Our mechanic put in so much work. Thank you, Diego. Kombucha, el bueno para el estómago. Tómelo. And we got him a brand new paint job. We just gave him back what was his old car made brand new. ¿Por qué han hecho todo eso? ¿Por qué, Kike? Karma, tu karma. Porque tú. Ahí están las llaves. Esa es tu karma. <risa> Toma tus llaves. <laughs> He's shook. So that was really, really cool. What else did we do? Mason and I fell into trash. What? Two, three, three. We 
collected a bunch of bags of bottles and cans and I'm just teaching Mason to respect his mother. We, they were in my mom's patio and we just brought them inside our house to smash them because that's what we thought we needed to do. But we didn't need to. Okay, what else happened real quick? Oh, four minutes! I've been recording for four minutes. No, no, no. I feel like something else happened, but I'm probably not going to go over it because it's already been four minutes and I'm freaking out. This is too long already. Okay, okay, wait, I feel like something else freaking happened. If something else happened, play it now. So the way you play pup dog is um, you pick a dog, whatever breed you want to be, and from there you just wrestle each other and you bark and talk crap to each other. Because this sounds a lot weirder now that I'm explaining it. And then you have to pick three powers. Each, Each pup dog has three powers. No, they don't, you don't have three powers. Listen to me, that's the wrong direction. Mason's saying that we've never had a limit on how many powers you can have, but usually I try and limit to three powers each. My powers are shart. Um, what else? <laughs> don't judge guys, okay? I know we're weird. Uh, I'm telling you, it all just makes a lot more sense when I'm not explaining it. Like, it doesn't seem this weird until you try to explain it to somebody. Okay, so my powers are Shart, Twerk, and, um, Sharding Pup Dog, Twerking Pup Dog, and Tickling, Tickling Pup Dog. Mine is Big Punch. Big Punch? Okay, what else? Uh, what else? Hurry. Farting? Yeah. I'm a complete boy, mom. Pooping. Pooping? No, I already have sharding. That's no, too much. No, I poop. already have pooping. Alright, what else? What else? Wait, how much time is there? You need one more. You need one more? Yeah. Come on. A visible power. Oh, that's good. I feel like I recorded something else happening. Oh, Hold on. Oh, what kind of dog are you? German Shepherd. Okay, so Mason's a German Shepherd and I'm a wiener dog. Oh, he's a wiener dog. If you guys have dogs, they can join in as they want to. Yeah, so Jackson's on my team, okay? No, he's on my team. No, because I'm a little wiener dog. How is it going to be two German Shepherds against one little wiener dog? You get run out like a Jackson. Anyways, we're going out of state today. We're leaving Arizona, and I'm really happy about that because it's gonna be my first time on a plane, Mason's first time on a plane, our first time on a plane together. So that's really exciting. But this is the worst part right here. Leaving my boy. Oh. I left my boy. Missed you already, boy. Not even done yet. No, vas a extrañar a los perros? No sé qué fue por una semana y di vuelta nomás. Eres un des descorazonado de M. Gracias a Dios que uno sale para descansar de los perros. Because, uh, don't be rude. That's my question. That's my question. You packing, big bitch? Yeah, big bitch, Anna. Mm -hmm. What you thinking, lovey? Mm -hmm. You packing over there? <laughs> what you doing, packing? Yeah, I fit everything in this little backpack. I know because we got the cheapest flights possible. So we have to literally, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I have to fit all my clothes that I wanna take into a freaking tiny, not even this, like a backpack like that. Flying on a budget these days. Jenny, yes, Papa. We're going to Chicago. Go. And how do you feel about going to Chicago for the first time ever? Most importantly, the first plane, bro. Plane ride, first plane ride right there, boy. That's what do you true. think? Are you scared? No. You excited? I'm excited. You know who is scared? Mom. Mom. Very scared. Very, very scared. Susan's gotta, Susan's gotta stick all that in there. Will she do it? What do you think? Nip out. Really? We ready, girl. We ready. We got held over here. Mother H. Dude, I'm literally. Mason, get off. First little airplane. You ready, bro? I'm so nervous. I'm gonna diarrhea myself. I can't believe I'm gonna be on a plane. <laughs> Who's more nervous, you or your dad? I don't know, but that's huh? where I get it from. The anxiety or what? I'm so nervous. Over All right, there. hold on.